Hi, I'm Cole, and this is my wife, Kara. And we're the builders and owners of Happy People Vans. And this is our van tour. A 159 extended ProMaster, and I'll just start right up front here. Um, here is our toilet. Have a beautiful view, <laughs> and it holds up to 350 pounds, so you don't have to worry. You can put your full weight on it. Above that, we just have a bunch of storage. Right here is our Dometic two burner stovetop, and then under that, that runs off of propane that's stored right underneath here. Over here is our stainless steel sink. Um, it's super deep, so if you don't feel like putting your dishes away, that's totally fine. You can take off and they won't fall. <laughs> um, running fresh water. It can also turn out here, so if you wanted to, you could take a little outdoor military shower. Under here, we have six gallons of fresh water and six gallons of gray water. Um, we chose to just do six gallons because it seems to be a lot easier to handle um, than having to find a place to fill up. All right, so right here you have um, another huge storage space. Below it is a Dometic front opening fridge. It also has um, a little freezer where you could fit like two pints of ice cream, whatever you want. Um, underneath that is your furnace and we have it open just in case um, someone would need to work on it in the future. Right here will be your thermostat. Um, on the sides here we installed two big windows um, to make this space feel very open while you're cooking. And right here we installed a little um, privacy curtain. It is a cordless shade. So we decided to uh, make the bed area a convertible living space slash bed area. Um, just to kind of give you options on whether you wanted to add a bunch of people back here. You can fit like five people to play cards, um, but you also have a nice comfy bed when you want it to be. Um, so we also like ended up putting this really sweet um, long uh, drawer here where we can put the extra fill in space for the uh, bed or whatever you'd want. You could put your bedding down there or any longer items. It actually goes the full length back there. So this table we actually made, it's pretty sweet um, and it's attached to a uh, lagoon table mount. So it actually can swivel. It can go anywhere you want it to. You can hide it back here if you want it out of your way or you can bring it all the way out and sit down with a few friends and have some pizza or whatever. We also have a nice outlet here and a couple more outlets on the sides of the cabinets. So I'm going to show you um, how to actually flip the uh, living area into the bed. Um, it's really easy. Basically this table just drops down and then we have another filler space and then the cushions fill in the open area. And we ended up putting, using a six inch memory foam mattress. So anybody who's sleeping on that um, has a nice comfortable night's sleep. We even built some storage underneath the two bench seats. And uh, this one slides all the way back. For your skis or snowboard or camp chairs or whatever you, whatever you wanna put back there. So I'll show you exactly what we have for the electrical system. Um, here we have a 2000 watt Renergy inverter for all your AC power needs. Um, 300 amp hours of AGM VMAX batteries. Uh, a solar charge controller that's hooked up to Bluetooth so you can you know, use your phone wherever you are to see how much solar you're bringing in or how much power is going out. And a fuse box. Pretty simple, but gets the job done and it looks good. So we built our first van when we 
went on our honeymoon and decided to take just a long trip around the country. And we decided that it was like the best way to travel and we found a lot of people were really interested and so we decided to just start building for other people. With Cole's background in construction for eight plus years and my eye for design, we decided to start building tiny homes on wheels. Our one tip for anybody who wants to experience van life or is thinking about building a van is to just keep it simple. It allows you just to enjoy nature outside. The, the point of living in a van is really to be able to experience the outdoors. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. And I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and um, we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects that feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.